I'm going to talk with you about a huge set of experiments we've run in the first decade of this century. Applying conservative and neoconservative theories of government, we'll use the scientific method to try to understand the results. The graph behind me traces some key economic measures of the health of our economy throughout the decade. Our experiment was permitted by the election of 2010, or more properly, the poorly run election in Florida and the intercession of the Supreme Court, which prevented the final counting of the ballots there. The scientific method described briefly is to create a theory, design an experiment to test it, predict the results of the experiment, run the experiment, and keep or abandon the theory based on the results. It does not appear that there's any kind of a, an effort up there yet. Now remember, oh my God. Oh my God. That looks like a second plane. Dear Lord. Just I did not see a plane go in. Here are the theories we'll examine. Taxes stifle the productivity of the job creators. We must cut the taxes on the rich as much as possible. We should be quick to fight wars overseas to protect ourselves at home. Regulations hamstring business. Cut regulations and the free market will protect and serve us. Here are the experiments we performed to test the theories. We cut the top marginal tax rate from 39.6 to 35% to let the 1% create more jobs. After 9-11, we fought wars in Afghanistan and Iraq to keep ourselves safe at home. We repealed Glass-Steagall and avoided regulating derivatives to free the creativity of the giant banks. You know there's trouble when employees one by one trickle out with their belongings. Explain the mood for me. I mean, you know, the, the Let's look at how the decade started. We had low unemployment, a growing Dow and GDP, and a budget surplus for the first time in a while. How did the experiments come out? Our economy is just coming out of the worst recession since the Great Depression. We have the largest deficit in history. We've spent over a trillion dollars and over 7,000 service members' lives in Iraq and Afghanistan. We've suffered several environmental and economic catastrophes, partly or wholly caused by lax regulation. Conclusion? Isn't it time we abandon these conservative theories that have caused such a terrible decade?